guys? It's Caitlin B and welcome back to my channel. You guys, today I'm finally doing my much anticipated, long awaited video, which is my Seattle apartment tour. <laughs> idea how excited I am to finally be doing this video for you guys. First of all, I'm just so excited I was actually able to visit Seattle and really get a feel for the different parts of Seattle. Alex and I had such a blast and just touring apartments in general was so much fun and you guys loved, loved when I took you guys along with Alex and I when we were touring apartments here in LA. It was so much fun having you guys like tell me which one you thought we were gonna pick and a lot of you guys were right. I have to say that Alex and I have not yet decided if we are making the move to Seattle, we still are kind of on the fence just because we both love LA for so many reasons and we would be sad to leave. We do have friends here. So many great parts of LA that's just like so magical and so fun to be here. But there are so many great things about Seattle that we love that LA just cannot compete with. I will definitely do a full blog post slash YouTube video update uh, when we actually decide for sure. But before I get on with the tour, I do want to mention that I am doing doing full Seattle travel guides on my blog. And I also just did a blog post all about my recap of the hotel that we just stayed at as well. So I will link that down below. I will also link my Seattle travel guide blog post once that goes live, but this is probably gonna go up before that blog post goes up. But I just wanna let you guys know if you are looking to visit Seattle just in general, you don't know where to stay, where to go, what to do, what to see, there's so many things. So all of that will be on my blog and I will let you guys know as soon as that goes up. Other than that, let's just get on with the tour. I'm really excited. Let's go see apartment number one. Since the very first time we visited Seattle, we love this part of town. It's just so cute. It's so incredibly walkable, which is a huge thing. So I was really excited to tour this place. Since Alex and I are looking a couple months in advance, just because we didn't really know we are gonna be moving or not, we knew we weren't going to be looking for the exact floor plan at every place. So I basically would just ask the leasing agent to show me a place uh, that was in our budget and that was available for us to look at at the time. So just keep in mind that a lot of these places probably won't be the exact floor plans if we do end up moving there that we will get. So the first floor plan she showed us was one in the standard tower. So this apartment was actually separated into two towers and they kind of share a communal space and amenities. So when we walked in, I immediately appreciated that there was a lot of light. I noticed that there was windows coming in from different locations and that's something I definitely value if I were to move to Seattle just because it's going to be more cloudy um, throughout the year. This was also a one bedroom layout. So this is all that they had at the time to show us, which was definitely a little bit on the smaller side. I think I would go for a two bedroom if I were to live in this complex, but there was still a good amount of closet space, which I liked. This barn door was also really cute. It kind of reminds me of the place that Sarah and I lived in Hollywood. I thought the floors were just okay. I kind of like if there's a really lighter wood, like an ashy light wood or a dark wood. I'm not a huge fan of the kind of in-between, but again, I'm not gonna be like super, super picky. If the price is right and it's below our budget, I mean, that's ideal and that's gonna be something that I sacrifice 100%. This place also had a patio, which is something that Alex really wants, but I know it's not something that's super common in Seattle apartments. The kitchen was just okay, in my opinion. I mean, it was a little bit small. There wasn't a ton of storage space. If we do choose this place, I would definitely like somewhere with a bigger kitchen. And also I wasn't a huge fan of the dark black backsplash. So that's an overview of the space. Again, it's still pretty well lit. There's also a closet that has a lot of storage, which is great. If you watched my last apartment tour, you know that laundry in my unit is 100% a non-negotiable for me. I didn't even tour any apartments that didn't have laundry in the units. Then she showed us tower two. Okay, so when she was bringing us up there, she was noting how this was the more luxurious tower because there's real wood floors, the doors are really heavy, there's also real tiles in the bathroom, and there's also tall ceilings and everything. And I was just kind of like, mm, okay. Like Alex and I looked at each other and we're like, okay, that's definitely not something I need, especially because I know that means higher rent, which I do not want because I'm trying to stay below a certain number. So I was a little hesitant, but she said it was still under our budget. So I was like, okay, let's see it girl. We walk in and 
I mean, just, you, you guys can look for yourselves. I mean, are you kidding me? First of all, there's a little dog area. How cute. The fridge is absolutely insane. This does not look like a fridge that should be long in an apartment. This place looks like a freaking condo. The kitchen appliances were also like on point. Alex and I love to cook. We spend so much time in the kitchen um, together just cooking recipes. So if there's a nice kitchen, like that is such a plus for us. I love the dark wood floors. I thought that was gorgeous. But another thing I liked about this place immediately was that I noticed there's space to put a dining table, which a lot of apartments that we look at don't have that. Even our place now, we just have like a really small table with two chairs and the living room in general just feels so spacious. I mean, we could fit like a pretty big couch in there and be totally fine. Walking into the bedroom, I noticed again, it had a lot of light. I would probably film some videos in the bedroom, which would be really nice to have all that light in there. The floors are carpet in the bedroom, but it didn't really bother me. But one of the coolest parts of this apartment was this hallway. I thought this was such a cool touch and my mom was obsessed with this when I showed it to her because this honestly feels like such a home detail and such a condo detail and not something that you would ever see in just an apartment. Sorry, can we pause? There's room for a a little like vanity chair in the middle of this bathroom. Like what is this? The counters are also white marble, which you guys know. <laughs> I love. I also thought it was so cool that it had a bathtub separate from this amazing shower and it had a separate laundry room. Like what apartment has a separate laundry room? Cause I've never seen that before. The kitchen storage was also insane. And I love that they had a half bath near the front because especially living with both of us, Alex and I, like it's really nice to have bathrooms that are separate. And also if you have guests visiting, it's really nice to just let them kind of have their own bathroom and stuff. She also showed us a two bedroom layout on this tower as well because it is quite different than the one bedroom layout that she showed us. This one really reminded me of Sarah and I's place just because there's windows from literally all angles, which would be amazing for filming. Such a great view of the city as well. I just thought that was so cool, but it was actually a little bit out of where I wanna stay under. So I definitely think I'm going to ixnay that two bedroom even though it was beautiful. All those apartments we looked at were significantly cheaper than our apartment in LA. That's the key. And yeah, it is obviously the key. Also, the location is a huge thing. Is the location just as good? Is it by restaurants, and bars? Is it dog friendly? All these things, we gotta find out. So let's go to the next one. The second apartment we looked at was literally right down the street, but we definitely noticed the differences between this complex and the first one pretty quickly. The bedroom was not only really small, but if you guys can see it, it has a window that is facing the hallway, which is outdoors. So literally anyone who's just like walking by in your complex can just like see right into your bedroom, which I thought was really weird. The actual appliances and everything I thought were actually pretty good. But immediately when we walked into the main area of the apartment, I noticed the dark blue wall, which I was not a fan of. It just darkens up your space so much. And especially when you're living in like such a smaller area, like I want everything to be really open. The lighting was also not so great as you can see. So because they are so close, the first and the second complex, we kind of just threw this one out. Bye -bye. The third complex we looked at was totally different in aesthetic and style, everything like that. So it was really cool to see the differences. And also this one was in a different location. We were there for almost two hours, which is so insane. We actually missed our last appointment because this one took so long, but it was basically because it was so brand new and it was so big. It was a high rise, like there's so many floors in this place. We probably saw like at least 10 different uh, floor plans in this one. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of them so you guys kind of get the idea. The very first place he showed us was a model home and I loved immediately the ceilings. I love that exposed beam. It was so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. This one was decorated like quintessential Seattle to me, which was really cool to see. It was just super funky. There was super um, open to you just expressing your creativity at this apartment. So if you wanna like change something on the walls or if you wanna paint the walls, you could pretty much do anything you wanted, which I thought was really cool that they were so open to that. The second one he showed us uh, was a one bedroom layout as well, but this one was just laid out a little bit differently. 
I really liked how much light came into that room and also I thought the closet was a pretty good size. I really liked how the main area had so much light as well. It had like the lighting coming in from two different areas. This was the only complex that we looked at that actually had a gas stove. And I know this is something that not many of you care about, but if you are really into cooking, like Alex and I are, having a gas stove top is like ideal. The next layout he showed us was definitely right off the bat, just a lot darker. So I kind of just ixnade this one because I knew I'd get like, I'd feel, I'd feel like I was in a cave to be honest. The next layout he showed us was really gorgeous. I love like the ceilings and the walls and everything again, but as you can see, it's really, really dark in there, which was something that I definitely was not a fan of. Of all the ones that he showed us, this next one was definitely my favorite and checked off most of my boxes. Right when you walk in, you see the bedroom number one, which I would definitely make into my little office space. I love that it had an entryway. I thought it just made it feel a lot more homey. And it also had the very first bathroom right off the bat as well. So if you had guests staying, it would be really nice to just like throw them in an air mattress in the office room, kind of like I do now. Then you walk into the kitchen and the main area and I just loved how it had the little center island. Quick side note, I'm very well aware that this place, this layout especially, looks very similar to the place that we have right now. I love the little living area. I thought it was just the perfect amount of space for a cute little couch. We would get like a smaller couch than we have now and we would definitely be able to fit our little entertainment system over there. Then we walk into the bedroom and it was actually funny, they had the exact same dresser that we have now, so how fitting. The closet separates the bathroom and the bedroom, which I thought was really cool. And then it has the second main bathroom, I guess. And it also has a nice shower and a bathtub. On day two, we looked at another apartment. Uh, this one, we weren't huge, huge fans of. The appliances were okay, and it did have a patio with a really great view, which Alex definitely loved. But the lighting was just okay, and the biggest thing for me was that this complex only has one bedrooms available. Like they don't even have two bedrooms. And the one bedrooms that we did look at just didn't have all that much space. The one big plus of this place though is even though it has a balcony, it was actually way under budget for us. The second place we looked at that day was in a new area that I had never even really heard of, but it was still close to like the neighborhoods that Alex and I really liked. What I really liked about this place immediately finding it online is that it seemed to be a really green, eco-friendly building. They have solar panels on the rooftop, they have like an herb garden, and they're also really energy efficient. The bills may be cheaper, that's a plus. But when I walked into it, we were kind of thrown off a little bit. As you can see, there, there's a good amount of lighting in some of the areas, but the biggest issue that we had with this place is the appliances and the finishes. The microwave honestly looks like my, smaller than my college dorm room one. The dishwasher also looked very, very small, especially for how much we cook. Like I feel like we'd have to be filling that up a ton. Ton, a ton. And the cabinets in general just looked very dorm room-esque to me. It was just a little bit dated for our taste and just didn't really hit most of the checked boxes that we had for our place. But the biggest plus about this place was it was by far the most inexpensive place that we toured. It was very, very under budget for us. But on day three, I was so excited because we were actually able to squeeze in an appointment to tour the complex of the one that we missed on day one because the other one took so long. So the first layout she showed us again had the most beautiful beams exposed on the ceiling. I just thought it was such a cute touch that they don't really do in LA apartments. The appliances were great. I liked the kitchen. It wasn't massive but you know it had a good amount of storage. While there was windows coming in from two sides it honestly was kind of a really harsh light as you can see in the bedroom it's a little bit of an awkward shadow in there so if I were to film uh, in the bedroom it would just be a little bit awkward. The bedroom had a good amount of space and the closet wasn't a bad size by any means. This area also had a den, which you could either make a dining room or obviously for me, I would make my office space. There was just one bathroom in this layout, which isn't ideal, but definitely something we can work around for sure. She also showed us a two bedroom layout. This one had a little bit of an entryway. This one was actually even darker than the first one. As you can see, it's like hard for my camera to even adjust. Not really much lighting in the bedroom, which again, isn't a huge deal, but there isn't really good lighting in the entire place. 
This is the second bedroom, also really, really dark, but it had a massive closet, which was definitely great. But the really weird things about this place, uh, which is something that I don't know if I could really get around, is it's connected to a hotel, like it has one right next to it, so you share amenities with the hotel. The gym is connected between a hallway, so like anyone in the hotel could technically like go into the apartment complex, which I thought was kind of odd. They only offer valet parking through the hotel, so anytime that we would drive up to our apartment, we'd have to park outside the hotel and have valet take our car to the parking spot. And also when we were leaving, we'd have to ask the valet to grab our car. Having to wait for like a valet to grab our car just seems like an unnecessary annoyance. And I don't really think I can get around that. But those are the ones that we toured on this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those and like touring with us. You guys message me all the time about like, what do I ask for when I'm touring an apartment? I've also got a lot of questions about how do I even find like, like my dream apartment, how do I find a place that's perfect for me, that's in budget, or you know, checks off my non-negotiables, especially if you're coming from a new city. Like for me, I'm coming from LA, looking about Seattle, so it's not like I'm just walking around during the day and just finding all these new complexes to check out. It's definitely harder when you're coming from out of town. So I wanna help you guys out and do a full blog post covering everything you need to know to find an apartment, what questions to ask, what your non-negotiables are, how to find one that's in your price range. I just wanna cover everything and really help you guys out. So I'm thinking about doing a blog post and a YouTube video or just doing one or the other. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do. If you guys have a preference either way, definitely comment below. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite is. And also, if I do move to Seattle, let me know which one you think I should pick. If you like my videos but you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below. And also, if you are subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. And that way, you will be notified every single time I post a new video. I love you guys so much, and I hope you guys have a fabulous day, and I will see you in my next one.